Yo guys, what's going on? So, new video today. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I'll make my low poly characters inside of Blender. Also, make sure you go to check out the Twitch, which I'm streaming live right now. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, guys, I just want to quickly say, um, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we need 100 subscribers. Um, also, so, this is just all to take from my stream. Uh, if you're wondering, the quality might be a bit different. Uh, but yeah, make, uh, hope you enjoy the Just go to front view, image, reference, and then go to here, uh, transparency, and change that to like something lower. Actually, this would be side view. So, okay. GX. Okay, cool. So, First off, you need to do more some modeling, so, because I mean, you can't make a character if you don't make it. So, I mean, if you don't model it, I guess you can make it procedurally, but, so, just add a cube, drag the, drag it around. Oh, before I forget, control R down the middle, delete the, the right side. And then add a mirror modifier. So now I'll just extrude it out. We should probably find a better image. So do the same thing transparency 0.5 or 0.25 or whatever. Let's make it a bit brighter so we can see it over the other, uh, other gorilla. This is quite helpful so you can actually see mishmashing images together. So get a good reference but we'll come to that bit later now we have half the body oh we have the the, the body part let's drag the back side in so then let's drag the head down oh well oh, oh no mind what you have to do with this inside of a uh, face here you you apply the mod of the mirror modifier there now we can go back to working on the body <laughs> he's looking kind of sad <laughs> um Drag this up. Let's work on the head a bit. I think we could actually get away with just because he has his shoulder blade over here. Oh. bit back we'll fix up these end guns later okay so now we see this is where the arms come out of the body so let's extrude this down so now let's move behind this so this is a big gorilla forearms make them chunky and then slide this in slide that in well let's just extrude these out and then we can fix them Okay, so you should probably turn on clipping. Wait, one thing you can see, we have an extra face over here. Uh, do we have eight more? Yeah, we have two more. Okay, you can kind of see when you go into wireframe mode, but it's just simpler to go start the model. <laughs> So let's drag these in to fit the leg. 
Ah, drag there, drag up here. Okay, so. Let's select these three faces, S, X, 0. Select them a bit more uniform. Okay. from the front view let's drag this in let's add another edge deep in here so we can round off the legs so um uh, what i'm gonna do is okay cool so you can see this so go to add-ons loop tools and enable it okay so um now if we go to loop tools and we can go to circle just turn off the bin scale this down circle 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 Uh, I'm clearly going to have a lot of triangles by the end of this, but whatever it takes to look the mesh look nice, I mean the model look nice. Uh, this changes to vertex and then control uh, by distance to remove the, vert the extra vertices. So I'm clipping back on. Okay. Also, it should be a bit more rounded. Press V to make it vert uh, vertex uh, bevel. Use a knife tool. Do I really need? No, so delete that. We can have round head instead of triangle head. <laughs> Let's start rounding his body out a bit more. So. Thing you can add a, a edge loop down the middle um, that is helps rounding out the body. Okay, let's round out this belly. So basically just shaving it. Let's take still let's just get another reference image. Gorilla. Z one eighty. Oh, 
0.25 Okay, so Clearly The arms are gonna Oh well, It's not really arms, but the front legs <laughs> Okay, that's already looking a bit better. Wait, I just realized what's wrong. We need to taper these. So what do you do? Turn off clipping. Uh, so press double G to um, drag along an edge. That was an extra face. Turn clipping back on. So we drag these out. I think what we need to do is make it like Doesn't matter, it's no poly. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna be doing some simple posing um, for the render, we're not, we're not gonna be animating it, so. So, topology is not the biggest factor right now. Okay, so I was just going a bit too far out to the left. I was going through the boundary. Let's round the muzzle out a bit. I think what we need to do is round the spot out as well. So now let's work on the back legs. So don't need that one and don't need that one. Exit zero.
runs out as well. Um, let's do it. I'm going to show you a different way. So you can just select the whole piece and then just double G. So that's another way to do it. Uh, Wait. Bear. Pause. Bear pause. Wait. Okay, so they have like a kind of um not that D. They have like a kind of like that. Close enough to what we already have. Um, round the feet out when the Trying to bevel the feet, but we don't want the middle piece to be beveled, we just want the sides. Okay, cool. Wait. Let's round this out. Yo guys, um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. 